In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a book cover. So first thing you want to do is you want to open up a Canva account if you don't already have one. I left a link in the description below for you to click so you can get started in Canva. You can either use the free version or the paid version. The paid version just gives you more templates that you can use. So once you have your Canva account, first thing that we want to do is we need to create a template for our book so that we stay within the parameters of our design for our book cover. So we're gonna to go to a site called Bookow, and on this page here is where you're gonna create the template for your title page. So this is gonna be on KDP, which is Amazon Direct Publishing. So we're gonna use that cover. You can do your own formatting if you choose to, but for this example, we're just gonna use a KDP generator, cover generator. So we click into this, and here is where you can set the, the parameters for your book. So we're going to do a six by nine inch book. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the measurements in here. So six height by nine. Also, you want to choose a book type. So if you're doing a paperback, you select paperback, hardcover, or you can do both. So let's just do both for this example. Then you want to tell how many pages you want. You can do 120, 200, 300. It just is up to you. Let's do 320. Uh, then you should choose the paper type. I don't even think this really matters, but we'll just leave it out white. Here you can put your ISBN here, which stands for International Standard Book Number. It's pretty much a, to identify that this is your book. You can choose to if you want, or you can use one in Amazon KDP. It doesn't really matter. Here you choose your formats. It has PNG and P PDF for us, so you don't need to do anything. The next thing you want to do is email the book to yourself. You put your email in and then you give it consent and then you hit email cover template. When you hit your email cover template, it'll say thank you for choosing book out, book out, uh, care to make a donation. If you want to make a donation, that's t entirely up to you. Or you can just hit next time, please just send me an email template, hit continue and boom, it gets sent to your email. Once you get the email, it should look something like this where you get the PDF version plus the the PNG version. You download to your desktop, to your phone, whatever it is that you're using. Then you go over to Canva. So now you move over to Canva and it tells you the size that you need. So you wanna make sure you change this to inches and not pixels. And then you put 12.52 by 9.25. Or I can click this because I did it already. So now we have the size that we need. So first thing that you're gonna wanna do once you have the template cover, you're gonna go over to elements and select a box. And this box is going to be the spine of your book. So you're just gonna stretch it out like so. Get a bit skinnier. Then what you do is center it. Put in the center. This will just be like a temporary thing for your cover you want to upload the png file for your your book cover so you get the paperback png open that up and now you just drag it over and boom this is the size you want everything to be so let's make the title of our book or where we're going to put it position it so we can position our title here wherever we want so for this purpose, we'll do it for say like a journal. Why did you put small box? Now we just put it right there. Why did you put small box? So right there it looks like it's in the center. You grab some text. Let's call it a notebook. Fat. White. You can add another box. Now, if you want to put text in the spine, you put no book. You just shift it this way. You can zoom in. This will be within the spine. So make sure it's small enough that fits in the spine. A bit smaller. All right, so there we have it. Now we go back our border. Now we can get rid of this background because it pretty much fits the size. 
And there we have it. This is how our notebook would look. And yeah, we don't like flowers. Choose different backgrounds. So yeah, we don't like flowers. Yeah. Dust peel in our garden. We don't like dogs to be in the garden. Yeah. Or pools. We have our notebook design. Hit that. Hit download. Wow, what a robot. So now we're going to save the file and you want to save it as a PDF print. You hit download. Once you hit download, it's starting to render the file. Then you just name it whatever you want and then hit save and then you're good to go. To get the interior side of the, the book, you would have to either create the file in Canva or outside Canva and then merge them together. If you found this video helpful, Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and I've also linked another video for you to watch next on how to make money with no money.